All right, the previous tutorial talked about adding numeric constraints by simply adding dimensions to a drawing um, or to the sides of this particular sketch. Uh, this tutorial, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the other type of constraint that we can have, which is uh, geometric constraints instead of numeric constraints. So to show you this, I'm going to go ahead and delete my lines that I have here. And notice I've kept my origin. I want to go ahead and start drawing with the origin. Now, I'm going to show you a very basic uh, use for this. And then I'm going to get more detailed into all the different types of geometric constraints in other tutorials. So uh, be looking for those. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to start with my line tool. Again, I'm going to snap onto the origin. Actually, I'm not going to snap on in this case. I'm just going to draw a really crooked looking rectangle. Let's draw it like this right here. Now I know you're thinking that looks nothing like a rectangle. Exactly right. Um, it doesn't right now, but it's about to be because I'm going to use a basic horizontal constraint tool and vertical constraint tool to add those geometric constraints to this object. Basically what I'm telling the computer is I want there to be some rules on this sketch that use geometric relationships between lines to lock this object into a particular shape. So for example, I'm going to start with my vertical line here, vertical constraint. I simply select it, and now I tell this line, I click on this line, and tell it that it needs to be vertical. I'm going to do the same with the right side. And now I'm going to swap to my horizontal constraint, and I'm going to tell it that this line needs to be horizontal, and this line needs to be horizontal. Now I have a perfect rectangle. Notice I don't have any size to it yet. Um, I haven't actually told it the dimensions that I need. That would still come later. But this is just to geometrically lock in um, a particular uh, shape for an object. Now I'm also going to be able to hit escape and still move my lines around because nothing is constrained right now. Um, just the geometric shape. Now the reason I didn't lock this into place, I want to show you another geometric constraint here. Uh, the coincident or coincident, however you want to say it. It means that a, a particular feature or part or endpoint is going to co coincide with another uh, feature. So in this case, I'm going to tell it that this corner here needs to coincide with this origin. So I'm going to select this corner. Now I'm going to select my origin. Notice how it automatically brings my sketch uh, to that location. Now that's locked in place, and I could simply add dimensions uh, to, give, to give this object a particular size. 